bay divers. We are hunting for pollock in murky water. Spring is here and the algae bloom is well underway. And our goal is to get fish. We have been invited here by the king of this national park himself. In other words, a man we know who knows the area we are in quite well. And we already know the fish are here now as we speak. We have seen it on our echo sounder in the boat. We have to go below 10 meters on every single dive to reach the fish, sometimes deeper, up and down in the algae mud. And I'm not an Olympic athlete. So for me, it's about keeping my head sharp, listen to my body along the way, take some breaks and rest between dives. Okay, hey, enough talk, let's dive down. Fish have been observed, as you can see. We dive down along boulders, and when you reach a certain depth, it plunges straight down. The mountain is shaped like a tip, so we can approach the fish from different angles. It's an incredibly exciting game when you know that the fish are close by. Constantly telling yourself, be patient and wait for the right moment. The method we try to use is to hide in crevices or along a large rock and lie still. Wait for fish to come close enough. The school of fish is in constant motion. And the more we push forward and expose ourselves, the further away and deeper the fish go. So it's best to proceed calmly. Take your time on the surface and get your body calm before taking the next dive down. Your reward could be just around the corner. In summary, it is very intense and exciting to hunt fish the way we did here. We had a few dives in the area before we cracked the code. We ended up with a nice catch overall. The driving force is food. The food is one of the main reasons I hunt in the first place. It's a shame that the last fish there fell off the arrow. It felt like there was a nice fish on the other side. The fish eventually moved further down and disappeared, but it's nice to have those days when everything works out. 
We got fish. The food is saved. Happy man. That was all for this time. Thank you for watching. See you again. Go day divers. By the way, this is my whistling at the very beginning of the video. There is a lot of back and forth during the editing of these films, listening to the same song over and over again. It ends up whistling for me while I work. And why not run a recording and add it to the timeline for fun? See ya. <laughs>